Okay, guys, so in light of all the responses and posts and whatnot, I've been hearing about the uh, the Nest Pi cases having issues with powers, uh, power in general. Uh, people getting lightning bolt issues, uh, you know, and them blaming it on the case. I'll be honest, the case does draw a little bit of power, but not enough to where it's going to be... Um, a big problem and here I am showing you guys exactly what I'm talking about is it's it really it boils down to your power supply now I've went ahead and I've tested several different power supplies USB chargers whatnot uh, these two instantly failed uh, this is a Samsung adaptive charger for a cell phone um, as you can see it says 5 volts at 2 amps um, but it also can go to 9 volt at 1.67 amp. So um, it does switch, but uh, you know, it just it doesn't work with the Raspberry Pi. So that one, it's just out. It automatically has lightning bolt as soon as you start it up. Uh, this one is a little bit better, but not much. Uh, again, this is another uh, charger. It's a 5 volt 2.1 amp. Uh, again, it's a plug-in style charger. So uh, it, it works okay, but if you put any load on it, even a little tiny fan like that, it, you're going to have a lightning bolt on forever. It's going to be nonstop. Uh, I also have another switchable power supply. This is a 5 volt 2.5 amp, and this goes to the most common power supply of a Raspberry Pi, which is a switchable one, power on and off. Uh, this is good for people that have like regular cases and they want to they want to turn off their uh, Raspberry Pi and cut the power to it. That one works fine. Uh, it does not work good for these cases, and I'll tell you exactly why. I did a test on it, and I hooked up all these USBs. I have four controllers here, all 8-bit two controllers. So I have two of the SNES style. I have the mash between an NES, SNES, and then I have the NES. So I have all those. Um, I didn't even have the fan attached to it, and I put one controller on, and I was already getting a, getting a lightning bolt with one controller. So, therefore, that power supply, it works, but as soon as you add anything to the circuit, it just it kills it. Which is understandable because these take 500 milliamps of power to charge. So, I mean, that's that's quite a lot. Um, so, you're basically running the Pi at 2.0 amps. So, you can charge one controller and be using another controller wirelessly, uh, Bluetooth, whatever. Um, so, I mean, that'll work. But once you go past one controller, it's a no-go. You cannot do it. You can't charge two controllers at once. You can't charge anything else. You can't have a fan. You can't have, you know, nothing else like that. So uh, here this setup is. This is directly inputted into my Raspberry Pi. This is a stock Nest Pi board setup. So I have the USB PCBs. I have the power on off uh, and reset switch. And then I have my power supply going into the micro USB PCB. I have everything hooked up as you would into, like as if you had it into a Nest Pi case. The only thing is it's in my little monitor here. Um, and I'm running it off of a 5.1 volt, three amp charger. Now I have four of these controllers charging currently as well as a fan. Now this is a big fan. This is a 40 millimeter fan. So I don't really know how much current it draws. I'm not even gonna check because it's kind of pointless. But here I am looking at my screen. I have no power bolt issue whatsoever. So here we'll try a little game. One of my favorite games, Oop, wrong menu. And we'll go down to, uh, let's see where it is. Did I pass it already? Yeah, I did. Okay, so one of my favorite games is Super Punch-Out.
So we're going to go ahead and run this. Apologies, I have a uh, slight cold. So there on the bottom, you saw it recognizing all the connected controllers. All these controllers are currently on Bluetooth right now. So I can use and pick up any one of these controllers and play on this game right now. Okay. So right now, player one is hooked up on this. I really wish I had like turtles and times four player on this. This that would work real good. Um, so here we go. We're going to champion. Actually, we'll go to time attack. Yes, he did see that. Correct. That was seven seconds. I play this game a little, little too much and a little religiously. So that's me playing with one hand. Yeah. But basically, there it is right there. I mean, there's no lightning bolt issue whatsoever on this at all. And I have four controllers connected at once via Bluetooth. So, I mean, it's, it's very simple. This is a, uh, like I said, a 5-volt. 5.1 volt, I'm sorry, 3 amp power supply. So we're going to go ahead and just close this out. I mean, this is basically what I'm talking about is it's not the Nest Pi case. It's not. It's the power supply. It's the power supply 100%. And I know a lot of you guys have these power supplies. They don't work very well. I'll be completely honest. They don't work whatsoever. Um, the issue that I think stands with that is the fact that it has a, uh, a plug-in USB. So you'll see, um, a lot of times that you have issues with the line, the wire, so like, don't get me wrong, this was a good power supply when I was just using the Raspberry Pi. It was great. But once I started loading it up with stuff, it, it didn't do very good. So, um, so I mean, it, it was good for just your standard Raspberry Pi setup. If you're using a Raspberry Pi in a bone stock case, okay. If you're using it for a Raspberry Pi Zero, by all means have at it because that, that's probably a, uh, a very good investment for that because it's got an on off switch. Um, but for a Raspberry Pi 3, you definitely need something that's like 5 volt and something that is um, over 3 amps. Um, this will solve any power issues. Uh, I, and you know, I do highly suggest getting a connected power supply that's like this, where the USB is not removable, much like this one, um, because who knows, it could be a, a problem with the port, it could be the problem with your power cord, it could be numerous things. And you don't really wanna go through and spending all the time to try and figure out what the hell is wrong with it. You might as well just go out, spend the money, and buy a good power supply. That's probably the most crucial thing you're gonna need in a Raspberry Pi project is a power supply. And from what I've been looking around and seeing, um, really, if you want a good power supply that's gonna 
do good, you're going to be spending 10 to $15 easily. Now, I know that's a lot of money for a lot of people, but really, it's worth it in the end. You're going to have less problems. All your stuff is going to run the way you want it to. You're never going to have a power issue. I can guarantee it. I just attested to that. There's four controllers hooked up to this. Well, now three, but there's four controllers that were charging on this. They were all dead, and they were charging. Plus a fan. So I had everything hooked up that I could possibly could load this. And it still ran perfectly fine. So with that being said, I, I highly suggest getting a good power supply. And being done with this discussion of the Nest Pi cases having issues. It's not the Nest Pi case. I can guarantee that. I've been through these cases several times. I've done about 60 of them so far, and these are still part of the 60 that I'm doing right now. They're all going to be modified uh, with safe shutdowns. But this one